Peace, love, and light, my dear Pisces. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is out of Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this What Do They Regret reading for. It's a bonus reading for November 2020. If you are new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. This is a journal reading. So this will be dealing with the person that you are thinking of, you know, who you're thinking of, and what it is that they regret about what happened between you and them. Okay? Remember, it's a general reading, so that means that some things may resonate with you or other things may not. I'm doing a little something different on this reading. So I got emotional breakthrough. Is from my spiritual oracle deck emotional transformation release freedom it is safe for you to express how you feel let it all out relationship deepens as a result so that is your oracle card for this reading <clears throat> so let's get on into what is it what it is that they regret so from that oracle card is telling me that it's time for you to open up and express how you feel and by you doing so that things may actually improve between the two of you. So I'm going to see what they regret. <clears throat> I always have to clear my throat. Okay, on the bottom of the deck I have the Strength card, the Seven of Coins in the Reverse, the Chariot card, the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant in the Reverse, the Star card, and the Queen of Swords. Also have the Page of Cups, but I'm going to just hold off. <clears throat> so what the bottom of the deck is telling me, my dear Pisces, is that this person either you or them, uh, what's going on is that I got the strength card and the seven of coins. So there was a lack of patience, a lack of investment, that something did not turn out the way <clears throat> that this person anticipated for it to turn out. So the strength card is saying that this person, is take, it's taken a lot of strength for this person uh, to deal with their emotions. Why do I say this? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm going to pause this, clear my throat. I don't want y'all to hear me do this all big old reading. Okay, I'm back. So it's saying that with the strength card and the seven of coins, that this person is taking a lot of strength for them. I feel as though it is to accept, you know, it's, it's taking a lot of strength for them to accept what's going on. You cut them off. Obviously, you have, and you're bad as shit at, at them. I got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. I keep trying not to cut through my readings. Goodness gracious, it's hard. Um, and there was a time I did not cuss, fun fact. But, um, so I have the Seven of Coins. It's saying that the relationship did not work out. And the reason why it did not work out is because the time, the patience, the effort, 
everything that is needed to have a healthy relationship was not put into this relationship. Okay? And then I have a chariot in the reverse. Chariot in reverse is a lack of, of forward movement and growth. And sometimes with the chariot in a reverse, it can sometimes mean that you're focusing on yourself, but I don't see that as being so. What I see is, is that this person did not put the, the effort into the relationship that they were supposed to put into the relationship. And as a result, that's why we end up with the queen of swords. Queen of swords, y'all can be masculine and feminine, it doesn't matter. Um, it's saying that um, somebody who is cold and detached, they're cold hearted. And the reason why they, they are this way is because they feel as though that um, when it comes to relationships, that things just never work out. That they have this cold exterior where they don't like to show their emotions too much because every time they feel as though that they do, they get their heart broken. This, this card represents the widow or the divorcee. This card represents somebody who is very bitter on the outside and they wear a false mask when they are around people that pretend like they're happy when they're really not. It's just saying that this card represents a very discontent person. And this person can also be quite angry, okay? So what do I have below? I have the Ace of Swords. I have the Higher Font in Reverse and the Star card. The truth is, is that this person is lonely. This person is lonely and they are wishing on the star, hoping, praying, and wishing to what? Why is that star card here? They can't. They're hoping, praying, and wishing, but right now they can't because I got the page of cups in, a, in the reverse. This is a lonely person. The truth is, is that they are lonely and they, they can't reach out to you, page of cups in reverse, because you're not accepting a love offer from them. You might have uh, uh, cut them off for not being serious enough. Seven of Wands. Seven, uh, seven of Wands in the reverse is talking about not knowing how to defend oneself. Giving up because you have no uh, defenses against a situation. And then we have the Death card. Oh, isn't this a, a what do you call it? Uh, oh, I want to say... Uh, This is something that's unchanging. This cycle, you've been on this cycle, these cycles with this person. The death card talks about something that needs to change but won't change. And then I have the world card in the reverse, which talks about this is an unfinished situation. We say unfinished cycle, unfinished business between you and this person. That this cycle is not completely closed out. The emperor and the queen of wands. And the Knight of Wands. So what's going on here? And the Empress. This person may have and the lovers in the reverse. And this situation has a lot of people. This person may have multiple options. We're gonna see what's going on up here. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, so let's go to the top of the deck to see what it's saying. Ace of Wands are reversed. Four uh, <clears throat> cups and the High Priestess. That's you. That's your card. High Priestess is, is Pisces. Sometimes people say Cancer, but it's mostly Pisces. The dream world. Somebody who is mystical, somebody who is highly intuitive, somebody who is even psychic, um, somebody who is an enigma, very spiritual being, and, and they're, you are quite the mystery to them. Very beautiful and very enchanting. So I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, the Moon card in the reverse, and the Four of Cups. So this person, they regret not giving you what it is that you wanted. They didn't put the time, effort, and energy into the relationship to give you your worth within this relationship. And the reason why I'm seeing them not do this is because there's something about you that's 
probably scares them. I have the moon card before the, the high priest is in reverse. The moon card talks about depression and fear. So this person had to put up this, this facade of being this way with you. It's because they see in you. I, I, I'm like, I'm trying to explain it, but you overwhelmed them. That's the best way I can say it. You overwhelmed them by how you are. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it talks about impotency and, and the lack of power. So it's saying that they have to act like that they don't care. But in reality, they do. They do. You are an enigma to them. There's something about you that scares them. Mm -hmm. This is not talking about revealing secrets. This is talking about because she's the one who keeps the secrets. And this is the secrets that become what is hidden come to light, both associated with Pisces and Cancer. But it's saying that this person is holding back all their passion, pretending like that they don't care. You know, you're offering them this cup of love and they're just like, oh, I'm displeased with the relationship. I don't care. And then with the moon card is saying that's not the truth. The truth is, is that they see you as being a very spiritual being. And it scares them. Okay? Not just a spiritual thing. You're just an enigma. There's something about you that, that they are not able to handle. So what is it that they regret? Alright, there is somebody else in the picture as I hinted at in the first half. They had a third party. They were given to more than one person. They were not telling you the truth. You might be dealing with an uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. It's just talking about the energy that this person was being a manipulator. They're being slick and they weren't telling you the truth. And when you would try to get the truth from them, they would like block their emotions off. They would act like they don't care. That they were being withdrawn and detached from you. The Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Coins in the reverse. They were giving their energy to somewhere else. They were giving their time, energy, and effort to somebody else. Somebody else. There was a third party here. So they regret not telling you the truth. Ooh, Ten of Coins. They might have a family somewhere else. Hmm. They might have a family somewhere else. They might have children with somebody else. Or it's just saying that they're trying, somebody might be expecting, or I'm not going to just say that, but I'm saying that they might very well with the Ten of Coins. You see all these damn kids? Um, They might have a family. I don't mean to say damn kids, you know, but they might have a family somewhere else. Or... They're just going after, yeah, they're at a crossroads. Full card, tower, oof. All right, so this is what's happening. So they have had somebody else in the picture. I'm going to pull one more. Ten of cups in reverse. All right, they have had somebody else in the picture, okay? And they weren't giving you your words while they were with you. <clears throat> and it's saying that this person had invested their time and energy in the wrong person. They weren't being truthful. So that's why I was like, they might have some damn kids. No, <laughs> no, I'm saying that they were lying. They were investing their time and energy into somebody else. And with the Ten of Coins, it could be saying that they're focused mostly on their money right now. Or it's saying that, um, that... They want a family. They want somebody that they can have a family with. I don't know if you want children or not. But that could be the factor right there. But this person right now is at a crossroads. And I think I'm going to go back to this card. That. How do they proceed forward? With the two of wands and reverse is saying they're at a crossroads. The fool card is saying that they're willing to take a risk. 
the tower card is saying that this is going to cause a stir and up a roar you know something's going to be rocked here and then we have the nine the knight of cups and we have the ten of cups in reverse so this person they're going to be a fool to come back towards you and they want to apologize Oof. wow wow they want to apologize for not giving you your worth for not investing in you ten of cups and the three of coins and they realize now you are their wish fulfillment, the nine of cups. There's a lot of water here. You might be done a little water sign. A whole lot of water here. Golly. Just a sprinkle of coins. So you might be dealing with a cancer Pisces and a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. And or definitely a Gemini Libra Aquarius. But the rest of this is water. Oh, we got two wands, Leo Sagittarius, or three, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. So this person was dealing with somebody else instead of investing their time and energy into you and taking you seriously. And the truth is, is that you scared them. There's something about you that's your Pisces. Look, y'all, you know how y'all are. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. One, one, one of my babies is a Pisces. Mysterious folks you are. Um, so as far as that enigma stuff and people trying to figure you out, yeah, it can be like that. Um, depending on <laughs> what type of Pisces you are. But I'm saying that, um, so they're going to come back around. And when they come back around, now i got to go back up here. Emotional breakthrough. Emotional transformation. Release. Boom. Okay. Alrighty. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Bam let it all out oh they will relationship deepens as a result okay so that's my what today regret reading for you my dear pisces thank you for joining me i'm wishing you all the best and i will catch you on the next reading as i always say peace love and light to each and every one of you i'll see you in the next reading peace and so much love thank you and goodbye